Hey, what's up guys? Bringing you today a Halloween special. Uh, it's Halloween, so I thought, you know, might do the top 10 creepiest Halloween cards I can find. My own personal opinion, of course. Um, I'm sure there's creepier cards out there, but these are the ones I could find in such a short amount of time. Uh, it's Halloween. Um, how alone is the best time to do videos. I've been hearing a weird noise downstairs, but uh, it's probably nothing, so uh, I hope I can get the video started. So, with Without further ado, let's see the top 10. What the fuck is that? <laughs> on our first stop on the Halloween Express, I have gone for Reaper of the Cards. Now, this card is a bog standard, most vanilla, like horror cards you can find. I mean, he's deaf himself. He's got his scythe, he's got his cape, he's got his creepy, weird face. And uh, he's appeared in the anime in basically one of the scarier episodes. So uh, I think he deserves the number 10 spot as being like a good monster to bring us into uh, our top 10 list. At number 9, I decided to go for a card that was suggested by someone on the internet. Uh, it's called Help Homer. And the reason I find this card quite creepy is because... Its body is pretty much mangled. Like, if you look at it, it looks like he's got a mouth on his chest. His face looks like he's been slapped and then his skin has been pulled down over his eyes. His mouth looks all crooked, looks like he's had a stroke. He's all... And, uh, yeah, he's wearing a skirt as well, which is quite horrifying. And he kind of looks like he's, like, attached to that uh, pillar behind him. So I've decided to give him the number nine spot. At 8, I've gone for an actual creepy card. Now, when I saw this, uh, it was just a coffin. And it was a, a little girl in a coffin. Not an adult. It's just a little kid in a coffin. And uh, she's covered in blood. And her headband, her uh, head bandage, also has blood on it. So, which believes me to think that she got shot in the face. Uh, what is a little girl doing getting shot in the face? I don't know. It's just pretty creepy. And then I looked a bit closer and I discovered she's not actually a real girl. Uh, she's actually a puppet. I decided to give this the number 7 spot because I don't know what it is. Is it a girl that's been brought back to life and she's a doll now? That's how she's alive. Like Chucky kind of thing. Uh, or was she always a doll? And uh, I don't know. But uh, all I know is it's creepy as fuck. Next on our list we have the standard Dark Necrophia. If you're a fan of the anime then you'll know that this is Bakura's card. She is scary as fuck. But I never actually noticed that she's holding uh, a disembodied doll in her arms. And she's like staring at it. So is this doll perhaps her child from a past life when she was human? And uh, she holds on to it now in search of maybe a new child? I don't know. Uh, all I know is it's uh, pretty, pretty weird. Yeah. Number six, I've gone for Dark Necroface. Now, this card is creepy in a, a lot of different levels. First of all, it's a child's face. The child's face is pretty creepy if it was on its own. One of her, one of its eyes are missing. It's been replaced by some sort of slimy gunk, which is absolutely disgusting. And uh, that's coming out the cracks of its face. So, like, it looks like it's been infected. And then you've got all these, like, tendrils around the back. And uh, I don't know whether this is a doll's face or a real face. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty horrifying. Plus, it's a zombie. So, <laughs> that's always bad. So, that's that. It's got good defense, though. At number five, I've gone for a, a probably controversial card for you lot. But uh, I'm going to explain why it's creepy. This is a card called Magi Gear Panda. That's probably not pronounced right. Why this card is creepy? Think of it this way. The big panda at the front, that's the dad. The little panda, uh, the lady panda that's next to him, as you can see in the background, is carrying a fear of the dad panda that's kicking off. And uh, basically, it's it's just like a play on domestic violence at home. Uh, you can see all the, the little baby pandas all carrying fear. This doesn't seem to be their first time they've dealt with uh, this father panda uh, kicking off, uh, smashing the place up. They're like carrying for their lives. They don't get hit or anything like that. So the way this would be quite scary, really, is if you're a victim of this at home and uh, you saw this card, it'd be quite traumatizing, really. That's why in the international artwork... They've redrawn this card, so I think it's just the panda kicking off. There's no scared pandas in the background. Number four, I've gone for a classic wall shadow. Now, this thing looks weird. Like, 
He's got all those little red eyes. He's got horrible mangy skin. He's not human. He's got weird tentacles on its face. He's got fur on its head. And he's got claws. That's creepy enough. But if you've seen it in the anime, you know that it's just a wall shadow. And it, like, blends into the walls and crawls out. So I want you to imagine... You can close your eyes if you want to. You're in your room. You're in your bed. It's light. It's dark. You look over into the corner of your room. And you just see this half out your wall. It'd fucking terrify the shit out of you. I'd be fucking up and out the house as quick as lightning. So that is why I've given it the number four spot. Just on pure creepiness. Number three. I've gone for the most visually horrifying card. Probably out there. This thing is what I would describe as an abomination of mankind. I mean, what the fuck is it it's got a zombie leg it's got a horse hoof leg it's got a gorilla arm it's got some weird vein machine thing attaching to it you can see it's veins through its uh, fur as well it's got another monkey arm uh, I'm, I don't know what that is though. it looks like bone appearing it's got some reptile tail and its face it looks like it had a normal face and someone just got a bucket of acid and just threw it at him and uh, yeah that's pretty much plague spreader zombie in a nutshell other than that it's quite good in a deck so i'm not going to fault him too much but i definitely think he deserves the number three spot number two this is another controversial card that you might come there it's the egyptian god card nowadays obelisk the tormentor this card is a tormentor he lives to torment people he is huge as fuck but the main reason he's on this list is because of that face that face is petrifying those teeth are creepy as fuck he's got small beady little eyes and uh, the way that I look at this again is a bit like wall shadow. Imagine you're asleep and you wake up and you see that smushed in the corner of your room, just fucking staring at you. <sighs> it's horrifying. So that is why I've given Obelisk the Tormentor, the blue giant, number two spot. Finally, in the number one spot, I've gone for Sorcerer of the Doomed. Now this card was obviously going to be on here. It's like quite a popular card with like the horror cards. And the reason it is, is first of all, we're going to focus on his, his actual face. It's disgusting. It's some wrinkled zombie mess. He's got grey, horrible, scraggly hair. He's got red eyes that just look into your soul. And he's got them horrible, horrible teeth. It's disgusting. It makes me want to uh, vomit all over the place. If you've ever played The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, you'll know about the happy mask salesman. Now, he sells masks. He's got a bag covered in masks. Well, this guy's kind of like him, except... They're not masks, they're severed heads. And they're all attached to his body. Yeah, those heads are still alive. You can see because they're all crying blood and they're all in pain. That blue one does not look like a happy bunny. And that one in the corner on his shoulder doesn't look happy at all. It's horrifying, really. So I'm going to give that as one of the most traumatising, creepy Halloween cards you can probably find in Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah, that's my top 10 of creepy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Do you agree with this list as well? Uh, just let me know in the comments below. And other than that, guys, have a happy Halloween.